Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're going to delve into an important topic that affects public health worldwide, the Zika virus. Join me as we explore the causes, symptoms, prevention and diagnostic methods associated with this viral infection. What is Zika virus? Zika is a viral infection primarily transmitted by mosquitoes, particularly the Aedes species, which are commonly found in tropical and subtropical regions. It was first identified in Uganda in 1947 and gained global attention during the outbreak in Brazil in 2015. Since then, it has spread to various regions across the globe. Brief History of Zika Virus The Zika virus was first identified in 1947 in the Zika forest of Uganda, Africa. It was discovered in monkeys and later found in mosquitoes belonging to the Aedes genus. In duration 1952 to 2006, Zika virus infection were reported in humans in various African and Asian countries. In 2007, the first large outbreak of Zika virus occurred on Yap Island in the Federated States of Micronesia in the Pacific. It was the first time the virus gained attention outside of Africa and Asia. In 2013-2014, another outbreak of Zika virus occurred in French Polynesia, affecting thousands of people. During this outbreak, an increase in cases of Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare neurological disorder, was also observed in individuals infected with Zika. In 2015, the most significant and widely publicized outbreak of Zika virus began in Brazil and quickly spread throughout the Americas. The outbreak raised alarm due to congenital Zika syndrome causing Zika infection during pregnancy and microcephaly in newborns, leading to severe birth defects. In 2016, the WHO declared the Zika virus outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. Efforts were intensified to control the spread of the virus, and investigate the potential link between Zika and birth defects. In current scenario Zika virus continues to be a concern, with sporadic outbreaks occurring in various countries. Efforts to develop vaccines and improve mosquito control measures have been ongoing, aiming to prevent future outbreaks and minimize the impact of the virus on public health. About Zika virus. The Zika virus is a member of the Flaviviridae family. It has a spherical shape and is approximately 40 to 50 nanometers in diameter. The genetic material of the Zika virus is composed of a single-stranded RNA. This RNA contains the viral genome, which encodes the necessary proteins for viral replication and assembly. The protein coat of the Zika virus is made up of multiple copies of a protein called the capsid protein. These proteins arrange themselves to form a protective shell around the viral RNA. The outer envelope of the Zika virus is derived from the host cell membrane during the process of viral budding. It is composed of a lipid bilayer and proteins, such as the envelope, E, and membrane, M, proteins. Surface of the Zika virus consists of spikes which are composed of the envelope, E, protein and play a crucial role in virus attachment and entry into host cells. How Zika virus transmits the Zika virus primarily spreads through the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes, specifically the Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus species. When an infected mosquito bites a person, it can transmit the Zika virus, potentially leading to infection. However, mosquito bites are not the only mode of transmission for Zika virus. Other modes of virus transmission include Sexual transmission Zika virus can be transmitted through sexual contact with an infected individual. Maternal fetal transmission. Pregnant women infected with Zika can pass the virus to their unborn babies, leading to potential birth defects and developmental issues. Blood transfusion. There have been rare cases of Zika virus transmission through blood transfusion. Laboratory exposure. Zika virus can be transmitted in laboratory settings through accidental needle stick injuries or contact with infected blood or other body fluids. Pathogenicity of Zika virus. The pathogenicity of the Zika virus refers to its ability to cause disease and the severity of the symptoms it produces in infected individuals. Here's a brief overview of the pathogenicity of the Zika virus. The virus enters the bloodstream through the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes and targets various types of cells, including skin cells, immune cells, and cells of the central nervous system. The mechanisms by which Zika virus causes complications are not fully understood. However, it is believed that the virus disrupts normal cellular processes, impairs immune responses, and triggers an inflammatory response in the affected tissues. Additionally, Zika has been shown to directly infect and damage neural progenitor cells, leading to impaired brain development and neurodevelopmental abnormalities in infants. In adults, Zika infection is often asymptomatic or causes mild symptoms. 
However, in some cases, it can lead to more severe complications like congenital Zika syndrome in pregnancy. What are the symptoms of Zika virus? Not all infected individuals will experience symptoms. When symptoms do occur, they are typically mild and self-limiting, lasting for a few days. Here are the common symptoms associated with Zika virus. Fever. A low-grade fever is a common symptom of Zika virus infection. The fever is usually mild, with temperatures ranging from 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit to 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Rash. Many people infected with Zika develop a rash. The rash is often itchy and can appear as small, flat or raised red spots. It typically begins on the face and spreads to other parts of the body. Joint and muscle pain. Zika virus infection can cause joint pain, also known as arthralgia, and muscle pain. The pain is usually mild to moderate and affects the joints and muscles, particularly in the hands and feet. Conjunctivitis. Zika virus can cause conjunctivitis, also known as pink eye. It is characterized by redness and inflammation of the conjunctiva. Additional symptoms that may occur, although less frequently, include headache, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, and a general feeling of malaise. It's worth mentioning that the greatest concern with Zika virus infection is its potential impact on pregnant women and their unborn babies, as it has been linked to severe birth defects. How to diagnose Zika virus? Diagnose of Zika virus include Symptom evaluation. A healthcare professional will assess the individual's symptoms, medical history, and recent travel history to areas with known Zika virus transmission. Symptoms such as fever, rash, joint pain, and conjunctivitis may raise suspicion of Zika infection, especially in individuals who have recently traveled to affected regions. RT-PCR. This test detects and amplifies the viral RNA in blood, urine, or other body fluids. It is most effective for confirming acute Zika virus infection within the first week of symptoms. IgM antibody test. This test detects the presence of Zika-specific IgM antibodies produced by the immune system in response to the Zika virus. IgM antibodies can be detected within a few days to weeks after infection. Plaque Reduction Neutralization Test PRNT. If the IgM antibody test is positive, a PRNT may be conducted to differentiate between Zika virus and other flaviviruses. This test measures the level of specific neutralizing antibodies against Zika virus in the blood and can provide more accurate results. What is treatment for Zika virus infection? Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for Zika virus infection. Most people who contract Zika experience mild symptoms or are asymptomatic and recover on their own without requiring medical treatment. However, supportive care may be required to manage the symptoms and further complications. Symptoms management include Rest and hydration. Getting plenty of rest and staying hydrated are important for the body's recovery. Drink an adequate amount of fluids, such as water, to prevent dehydration. Fever and pain management. Over-the-counter pain relievers like paracetamol can help reduce fever, relieve pain, and alleviate other symptoms like headache and body aches. Seek medical care. If you suspect you have Zika virus infection, especially if you are pregnant or have a weakened immune system, it is important to seek medical care. Healthcare professionals can provide appropriate guidance, monitor your condition, and ensure the well-being of you and your baby, if pregnant. Supportive care. In severe cases where complications arise, hospitalization may be required. Supportive care may involve intravenous fluids to maintain hydration, monitoring vital signs, and addressing specific symptoms or complications. How to prevent Zika virus infection. To prevent Zika virus infection, you can take the following measures. Mosquito bite prevention. Since Zika virus is primarily transmitted through mosquito bites, it's essential to protect yourself from mosquito bites. Use insect repellents containing DEET, picaridin, or IR3535 on exposed skin. Wear long-sleeved shirts, long pants, and socks when outdoors, especially in areas with high mosquito activity. Use bed nets if you're sleeping in areas where mosquitoes are present. Eliminate mosquito breeding sites. Mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus breed in standing water. Remove or empty containers that can collect water, such as flower pots, buckets, old tires, and bird baths. Regularly clean and scrub water containers to eliminate mosquito eggs. Stay indoor. If possible, stay indoors to minimize mosquito exposure, particularly during peak mosquito activity times, such as early morning and late afternoon. Practice safe sex. Zika virus can also be sexually transmitted. 
If you or your partner have traveled to an area with Zika, it's important to use condoms to prevent transmission. The virus can be present in semen for several months. Stay informed. Stay updated on the latest information about Zika virus outbreaks in affected areas. Check travel advisories and follow recommendations provided by health authorities, such as CDC or WHO. Pregnant Women Precautions Pregnant women should take extra precautions to avoid Zika virus infection due to the risk of birth defects. If you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant, consult with healthcare professionals before traveling to areas with Zika. If your partner has traveled to a Zika-affected area, use condoms or abstain from sexual activity throughout the pregnancy. Conclusion. Remember, knowledge is power. By staying informed and adopting preventive measures, we can collectively combat the spread of Zika virus and protect ourselves and our loved ones. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. Stay safe, and until next time.